I didn't have any real symptoms. We had the family together and my daughter, she said, you know, Dad, you have a lump under your neck here. You really should get that checked out. When I was 64 years old, I was diagnosed with stage four follicular lymphoma. I went through extensive chemo, then had 11 years cancer-free in total remission. It did come back and this time it was diffuse large B cell cancer, which is a more aggressive form. At that point, it was a crisis mode for our family. It shook the family to its foundation. He's my other half. He keeps me steady. I couldn't think about ever losing him. And I said, you were going to beat it. We're in this together and we're going to beat it. I had a shorter course of a different type of chemotherapy followed by radiation treatment. Once again, it returned. The process was getting shorter and shorter intervals of remission, and the doctors were running out of ammunition to use to treat it. I met initially with Dr. Mensa, and he took a detailed patient history. Looking at his performance status, his overall comorbid conditions, we deemed him fit to go through CAR T-cell therapy. The alternative for Charles would have been to do high-dose chemotherapy followed by an autologous stem cell transplant, and I don't know how he would have tolerated it. It was a pleasure to find out that I had no sign of cancer. And uh, I guess the biggest blessing is not having to look over my shoulder and worry about it coming back again. In terms of their age and the ability to go through CAR-T, I feel that we should assess on an individual basis because these older patients can actually tolerate CAR-T cell therapy. It's hard to express the, the the joy that you get of, of getting a second chance at life. Life is precious. Being able to sit by him and hold his hand, I give thanks that he's still here. I don't think it would have been possible to endure the cancer, either initially or throughout the last 17 years without my wife's unfailing support and uh, she was there every step of the way. And now that the health issue isn't in the forefront anymore, next year we're gonna celebrate our 60th wedding anniversary, so we're looking forward to that. 60 years we've had. I like to say that we were, we were friends and then we got married. Then we uh, got <laughs> married, right. But we've been, we've been friends throughout. We've been through a lot of different things yeah. together. But you pick each other up. Yeah. That's the key, is, is to care enough to pick each other up at the time that you need to. Fortunately, medical science has progressed at a sufficient rate to help us continue on, so we're, we're just grateful for that, and we just enjoy every day we have together. <laughs> <laughs>